Let's draw the structure for propanol or propan-1-ol. Prop right here tells us that there are three carbons present in the longest carbon chain. This all here tells us that this is an alcohol, meaning we have an OH. Okay, so let's draw the three carbons. And a trick to draw the longest carbon chain is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two. Let's number these carbons. One, two, and three. Now, we have this one here. This tells us that this OH, this alcohol group, is attached on the first carbon. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the OH on the first carbon. So this is the structure for propanol or propan-1-ol. Let's draw the structure for butane 1,2-diol. This but right here tells us that there are four carbons present in the longest carbon chain. This all here tells us that this is an alcohol, meaning that we have an OH present. Okay, so let's draw the longest carbon chain. A trick to draw this that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three. First carbon, second carbon, third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Now, we have a diol, meaning we have two OHs attached. One of them is on the first carbon, and the other one is on the second carbon. So we have an OH here, and we have an OH here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the OHs. So this is the structure for butane 1, 2, diol. Let's draw the structure for 2, 4, dimethyl cyclopentanol. This is an alcohol. And first we will identify the longest carbon chain. So cyclo pentane here is the longest carbon chain this pent here tells us that there are five carbons present in the longest carbon chain this an here tells us that there are only single bonds present in the longest carbon chain. Now, the cyclo here tells us that these carbons are arranged in a ring. It is a cyclic compound. Now, when we draw five carbons in a ring, we end up with a pentagon. So let's draw our pentagon and let's number our carbons. Okay, so we have an OL here. This means that we have an OH attached. This is the alcohol group. This makes this compound an alcohol. So this OH is attached on the first carbon. Since we don't see a number in the name, we just assume that it is attached to the first carbon, which is right here. So let's attach the OH. Now we have a dimethyl attached to this alcohol. Di tells us that there are two groups of methyl attached to this alcohol. One of them is on the second carbon and the other one is on the fourth carbon. So one methyl is attached here, the other methyl is attached here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach a methyl on the second carbon and on the fourth carbon.
So this is the structure for 2,4-dimethyl cyclopentanol. Let's draw the structure for 3-methyl butane 2,2-diol. This is an alcohol. And the name of the parent chain is butane. This is where the alcohol groups are attached. Bute right here tells us that there are four carbons present in the longest carbon chain. This ane right here tells us that there are only single bonds present between carbons. Okay, so let's draw the longest carbon chain first. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, so let's number these carbons. We have the first carbon here, second carbon, third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Now, we have an OL here. This tells us that this is an alcohol meaning that we have an hydroxyl group attached, which is OH. So we have an OH attached to this butane. This dye here tells us that we have two OHs. We have two groups of OHs attached to this butane. One of them is on the second carbon. The other one is also on the second carbon, which is right here. So we also have a methyl attached to this alcohol, which is on the third carbon, right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on the third carbon. So this is the structure for 3-methyl-butane-2,2-diol. Let's draw the structure for propane 1, 2, 3, triol. This is an alcohol. And propane is the name of the parent chain. Now, prop right here tells us that there are three carbons in the longest carbon chain or in the parent chain. This ane here tells us that there are only single bonds present between the carbons in the parent chain. Okay, so let's draw the longest carbon chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two. Okay, so let's number these carbons. This is the first carbon, the second carbon, and the third carbon. This OL here tells us that this is an alcohol, meaning that we have an OH group present. We have an hydroxyl present. Now, we see the word tri here. This tri tells us that we have three groups of OH present. So we have three OHs. One of them is on the first carbon, the other one is on the second carbon, and the other one on the third carbon. Now, so an OH attaches here, an OH attaches here, and the third OH attaches here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the OH on the first, second, and on the third carbon. So this is the structure for propane 1, 2, 3, triol. Let's draw the structure for cyclohexane 1, 3, 5, triol. This is an alcohol. And the name of the parent chain is cyclohexane.
This hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the parent chain. This ain here tells us that there are only single bonds present between the carbons in the parent chain. Now, this cyclo here tells us that these carbons are arranged in a ring. So when we arrange six carbons in a ring, we end up with a hexagon. So let's draw our hexagon and let's number the carbons. So this is the cyclohexane and now we have an OL here. This means that this is an alcohol, meaning that we have an hydroxyl group present, which is just OH, oxygen and hydrogen. Now, we see tri here. This means we have three OHs present. One of them is on the first carbon. The second one is on the third carbon. And the third one is on the fifth carbon. So we have an OH here, an OH here, and we have an OH here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the hydroxyl group on the first third and the fifth carbon. So this is the structure for cyclohexane 1, 3, 5, try all.